Hi, I'm Brian Barnett, Mayor of the City of Rochester Hills, and as always, thanks for watching. Coming to you today with what I hope is my last COVID-19 update. I want to thank you for being patient as a community, being vigilant and, and abiding by, as best we possibly can, the orders from the president, the governor, the county executive, and so many medical professionals. Uh, by now, you know well that the curve in Michigan has flattened. Uh, our hospital systems are certainly not in danger of being overrun. And in many instances, while we're not out of the woods, uh, life in America is opening again. And I'll tell you personally, I couldn't be more excited. Now, I'm not a medical professional, um, but I know that if they were here, they would tell us that it doesn't mean we can forget everything that we've done to get ourselves in this position. We certainly don't want to go backwards. But we are ready to begin some new normal moving forward. For us here in the state of Michigan, it means restaurants and bars opening up next week. It means uh, things like hair salons and massage therapy opening up the week after. Uh, it means that we'll get a little bit more opportunity to meet with folks inside and outside, but still be encouraged to wear masks whenever possible. Life is starting to come back to normal, and we need to make sure that we do everything possible to be safe, to maintain the social distancing if we can, and to continue on this path towards a healthy summer. Here in the city of Rochester Hills, what that means is that our full employee group will come back to the city hall on June the 8th, but we will remain closed for one additional week to the public while we continue to retrofit the building to make sure that every resident's experience here is safe, both for our residents and for our team members. We have to input some sneeze guards and some social distancing signage. and We've got to retrofit some of the seating and so forth. So we will open up to the public on June 15th. Until then, uh, feel free to visit our city website, which has been uh, made much more robust in order to handle most of the business you'd need to take care of at the city, uh, and contact the mayor's office if you have any questions. June 15th, the city hall will open. Now let me share one other thing that I want to encourage you with today. There's a lot to be challenged about. Right now we're sitting in a, having just essentially gone through the worst pandemic in 100 years since the flu of 1917. Layer on top of that, the economic crisis, uh, the fact that we had the worst recession uh, since 1927. And layer on top of that now, the fact that we have more civil unrest in the streets of America's cities than any time since 1968. And you could be pretty pessimistic about what's happening right now in America. I'm pretty down on 2020. But yesterday, I walked in a protest that was led by two students. They hope to have 50 friends gather at Rochester High School and walk downtown to um, protest what they see as racial injustice across this country. Well, 50 turned to probably six or seven or maybe even 800 people. In my 14 years as mayor, this is four or five times the largest protest I've ever seen. And as I walked hand in hand with many of the students, I would say 80% of the people in the crowd were young student aged, uh, high school and college age students. Um, they were angry, but they weren't angry at what they saw happening here. They want to make sure that it doesn't replicate itself here. I saw officers walking hand in hand with protesters. I saw protesters taking pictures with officers, both from the Rochester Police Department and from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Now, we know in this nation that there is a tremendous conversation and dialogue that must continue on the systemic racial injustice that we've seen happen for uh, decades, generations here in our country. And Rochester Hills will be a part of that conversation. But what I saw yesterday was support and an understanding that everyone needs to be respected. And it gave me optimism despite all the challenges I mentioned earlier. To our greater community, we will survive all of these challenges. And I truly believe that we'll be stronger on the other side. Respect your fellow neighbor. Honor their opinion, no matter where they are politically or racially or on any other item that you might possibly discuss, we're all from the same community, and we need to remember that. So as we start to break out of this stay-at-home, stay-safe stay order, and we experience more of our neighbors, let's make sure we lead with love, because I think it has all the opportunity to make the difference for this community moving forward. Thank you. God bless.